Hello friends, Tony here, so welcome back. In the previous video we installed MariaDB in our uh, VPS server. And now let's uh, just, I have open here uh, MariaDB DB cheat sheet so you can find some commands, what you can do, so to connect or uh, show databases. So for example, if we can copy this and first we need to connect to MariaDB and we can do that by saying MySQL or just MariaDB MariaDB dash u and we are using the Tony user dash p to add also the password and the password is Tony in my case and we are logged in okay and let's paste that in so show databases and we have the information schema and Tony databases also with a lower lowercase show databases is going to show all the same thing uh, show tables so for example use also use database so let's use the Tony database let to say use Tony which is the name of the database hit enter and now as you can see right here we have none as a database selected now we have Tony database selected here okay let's say uh, show tables in a Tony database if I paste that in, we have empty because we don't have any tables yet. You can find here, we can create a table. So we can say uh, create table and let's name this table projects. Okay, and we I'm going to add only the ID. So I'm going to say ID is going to be integer and is going to be auto increments. So I'm going to say auto increment and also I'm going to say primary key is going to be the uh, ID and now semicolon okay so create the table projects and here I added just the ID which is going to be integer auto increment and also I specify the primary key to be ID and then close semicolon and hit enter and if I uh, say show and now let's say show uh, tables again semicolon now we have projects table as you can see here also you can delete that so we can say for example drop a table if exists And the name of the table in our case is projects. So I'm going to say projects like this. And now if I also run again the show tables, we don't have any tables. But maybe you don't like to use the terminal to create uh, tables or modify tables or databases. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a QI application with the database in our server. And I'm going to use a table plus. You can use what you like. And here I have opened the table plus and I'm going to click on plus. I'm going to choose MariaDB and say create. And I'm going to use, I'm going to say here over SSH. I'm going to use SSH to connect. Now the host is going to be the local host. So 127.0.0.1. The port is the same. The username is Tony. In my case, okay, you may add some other names. The password in my case also is Tony. The database name, I'm going to connect the Tony database name. And here now we need to add the server ID. And to open the server ID, I'm going to come here and open the hostinger or where you have your VPS. And I'm going to copy the ID here, okay? and paste it right here the port is 22 the username in my case is Tony okay so I have Tony here Tony here over all the places and I'm not going to use the password I'm going to use the SSH keys and import a private key so I'm going to come here and I'm going to import this and let's say just for now I'm going to say test here and yeah we need to add here the 
pass rays. OK, and click OK. And now, with this, as you can see, it's all green and we can connect. And let's see the databases. We have Tony database, click open. We don't have any tables yet, but let's go and we can create a table here. So, for example, the test table. Just save, and you can add some columns here. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. How you can connect your GUI application with our database in VPS. If you like such a videos now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best, and thank you very much.